LR National Chairman of APC, Chief John Odigio Yagun, President Muhammadu Buhari and a national leader of the APC, Bola Tinubu at a meeting, dot are they thinking the future governors, Oyagun, Tinubu in Battle of Wits over Convention List Lawale Alali in Lagos and Anyabuji as Igbo in Abuja Barley 24 hours after governors of the all Progressives Congress APC, and the National Working Committee NWC, seemingly resolved the quagmire that had arisen over President Muhammadu Buhari's rejection of the 12 months tenure extension granted to elected and appointed executives of the party at all levels. APC stakeholders have turned their sights on national chairmanship seat. This day reliably gathered Thursday that names of possible contenders for the post were already being banned around among different interested groups in the party. Prominent among the contenders are the incumbent national chairman of the APC, Chief John Odigi Oyagun, who is eligible to seek another four years in office, the former governor of Edo State Adams Oshiam Hole, and a former governor of Cross River State in the Third Republic, Clement Ibri. A senior party official, who preferred to remain unnamed, informed this day that the party was already looking beyond the 10-year elongation issue which has distracted the APC for about six weeks, and was focused on the national convention and who would succeed Oyagun. Right now, three persons are being considered, former governors Oshiam Hole, Clement Ebri and Oyagun, the source disclosed providing some insight on what the thinking is within the party on each of the possible contenders for the chairmanship post, he said some of the governors and Buhari loyalists are not very comfortable with Oshiam Hole because of his strong personality and independence. Oshiam Hole will make a good chairman because he is strong and independent-minded, he cannot be pushed around. That is why the presidency is pushing for him, but these same attributes are considered a drawback among several of the governors and Buhari's loyalists who believe they will not be able to control him, the party official said. He noted that those opposing the choice of the former Edo governor have gone as far as unearthing what Oshiam Holt did during his campaign for his second term bid in 2012 when he refused to allow Buhari to come and join his campaign in Benin, the Edo capital. They said that the former Edo governor cannot be trusted with power to lead the party at the national level, the party source said. He further revealed that those opposing Oshiam Hole's candidacy are rooting for the re-election of Oyagun, whom the governors, especially, believe is humble and accommodating of varied interests. Alternatively, there are others who are canvassing for former Cross River Governor EBRI who will add fresh blood and ideas to the party, he added. In addition to turning their focus of who will lead the party after its convention, the party's chieftains, this day learned, are in a battle of wits over who should draw up the membership of the convention list. It was gathered that, in anticipation that Buhari would have his way on the conduct of Congresses and the convention before the 2019 elections, the national leader of the APC, Chief Bola Tinubu, had recently rushed a list of convention committee members to the president. Some of the party members on the list he presented to Buhari, said sources conversant with the development, include Alhaji Bidilawal and Malam Kashim Imam to represent the Northeast, the national vice chairman of the Party in the Southwest Zone, Chief Pius Akinyel Yor, Oyo State Governor Abiola Ajimobi, House Leader Femi G. Bahabi Amila, and a former party chairman in Ogun State, Alhaji Tajuddin Bello, to represent the Southwest Zone. According to sources, the list drawn up by Tinubu came to light during the meeting Buhari had with the APC governors on the 10-year elongation issue on Tuesday. The meeting, the president was said to have mentioned the existence of a convention list, which no one knew about but himself. Upon citing the list, nearly everyone knew who had drawn it up and immediately protested because it was considered deliberately tilted against certain interests in the party. It was for this reason the meeting between the president and the governors ended in a stalemate on Tuesday, said one source. He also revealed that for the Northeast, two names, Lawal and Imam were said to have angered the Borno state governor Kashim Shadima, who immediately said he would not stand by and allow names to be submitted from his state without anyone consulting him. Same development was said to have triggered a similar reaction to the Southwest list. Sources hinted that the Ogun state governor Ibukun Alamosun was particularly livid at the fact that someone had drawn up such a critical list without consultations and was said to have consequently protested to the president about the development. Emosun was quoted to have told the president that the list negated the spirit of collegiate leadership, which the Southwest APC once propounded at an earlier meeting. It was against this backdrop that the president was said to have consented to some of the proposed changes on the list, leading to two of the substitution of two of the names for the Southwest, in order to balance the varied interest groups in the zone.
although this day was not informed about the names of the replacements on the revised convention list with Buhari, sources said one of those brought in to balance the contending interests in the southwest zone was the former governor of Ikiti State, Chief Niyi Adebayo. Amosun was also said to have replaced Bello's name with someone.